to Friday Reads. I had a sort of slow start to reading uh, this week. I didn't really start reading until about Monday afternoon. Uh, I had several um, issues going um, that uh, I, I didn't really start reading until till Monday. But I had read the um, Henry James's The Turn of the Screw, uh, which was the basis for the John Clayton 1961 film, The Innocents, uh, which will be this week's book to film. Um, I'm hoping to get that out for tomorrow, but it might not be till Sunday, uh, because as I said, I had a late start this week. Uh, and I've thoroughly enjoyed this. It's taken me uh, 40 years to read it pretty well. Um, I dismissed Henry James... A long time ago uh, for various reasons uh, and then about 10 12 years ago I read portrait of a lady and a few other things and really liked his writing I thought I do need to read this sometime and I just never got around to it but I have now and thoroughly enjoyed it and yeah it's it's well written. Um, it has many layers. I'll be talking more about that uh, in in the book to film video, uh, and I've I've also been dipping into the critical uh, Norton critical edition. This is the third edition. Um, uh, let's see when this was done. Um, oh, twenty twenty one. So I guess that it's done. It was originally done in 1966, then 1999, and then uh, 2021 for the third third edition. So it's it's brand new. Well, <laughs> uh, as brand new as possible, I suppose. Um, and yeah, it's, it's got it. It turn of the screw for for it being only 125 pages. There is a lot of critical material. Uh, for this there's whole books on it there's been essays reviews that's what's great about this they collect uh, contemporary reviews and later reviews and just give an overview i've also been reading the bfi guide to the innocence the film by christopher frailing this is the second is it the second edition no it's not i don't think it is it's just a, a newer cover uh, it's 2013 by uh, Paul Grave. Uh, Macmillan has put his, uh, uh, published it, but it's a BFI guide, and it is an excellent one. Some of these are mediocre, but this one um, is is wonderful. It's very very good. Uh, same as the uh, um, Rosemary's Baby one uh, it was very very good as well. And this is excellent. He goes through the uh, permeations, the drafts of the script, uh, originally uh, done by William Archibald. Yeah, William Archibald, based on his play. Uh, and then um, John Mortimer of Rumpel fame uh, was brought in, did a little bit of work, and then Truman Capote did a... Uh, a pretty good overhaul of it. And then uh, Jack Clayton, the director, tinkered with it as well to get the final uh, the, the final shooting script. And and Christopher Frailing goes through all those details, and it's, it's quite fascinating. Oh, I find it fascinating anyway. Uh, also, uh, getting set for next week's book to film, I've been reading The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. And this is the original um, story, or the original edition of it, I guess you would say, but not published then. But this is originally published in 1972. Um, 1971, sorry. It was published in 1971. And uh, for some reason, Peter Blatty came along like 40 years later, decided to do a rewrite of it. Uh and expand it. It's about 50 pages longer, give or take. 40, I would say 35 to 50 pages. I haven't figured because there's smaller print in this one, and this is bigger print, and this one's already just pagination. It's about 15 or 20 pages bigger than this one, or longer. 
So and there's and there's interesting differences. So I'm definitely reading the original one here because uh, it's it's what the film was based on. Uh, but I also have been reading this one at, at the same. I've been reading a chapter or two and alternating back and forth and seeing the differences. And some of them are just sort of cosmetic uh, little things, but some of them are are quite interesting, his changes. Uh, and some I agree with and some I just go, why? You know, you've actually made it worse <laughs> or it appears to be. So, and I'll talk more about that when we get to that video. Uh, not in super detail because it was like I'm not reading um, page by page and you know that you could do that I suppose read page by page and just note uh, make a notation of every single change but I'm not doing I'm not going that deep into it uh, what I will be reading is also too um, hopefully by before I do the video is the bits in this book uh, about the uh, innocence uh, there's a chapter on the innocence in here. It's fairly short, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's only 25 pages, so I should be able to knock that off. And this is uh, the Manchester University Press uh, series, uh, British Filmmakers. And there's Jack Clayton there himself, the director of the film. Uh, this is by Neil Sinyard. Um, he's a veteran uh, film historian. Uh, he shows up in a lot of places. This was published in 2000. So, yeah, I'll be, I'll be dipping into that, like I say, the chapter. Uh, also, uh, for The Exorcist, I've got the screenplay this is a uh, favor and favor screenplay uh there's linda blair on the cover um uh, now this apparently has the i haven't looked closely at it. it apparently has the deleted scenes so that'll be interesting but i don't know where those scenes are so i'm hoping they point that out or i might have to go all the way through it i'm hoping i don't um uh, but this was published, first published in 1998 by Faber and Faber. So it's, it's a little mass market. It's actually small. It's quite, it's quite thin. Um, you could probably knock that off pretty quickly, you know, reading it all the way through. But we'll see what happens. And then I also have the BFI Film Classic Guide uh, to the Exorcist by Mark Commode. This is the second edition, I think. Or actually later edition um, several editions down so this is uh, 2020 originally done in 1997 and it's a bit shorter than uh, the innocence no no actually no it's about the same well actually bigger sorry it's, it's about 10 10 pages bigger they, they, they usually range between 80 and about 20, 125 pages or 130 uh, and some of them are good and some of them are mediocre so um it's 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 hit or miss uh with them but they're all they're all well i would say yeah i'd say mediocre i wouldn't say bad i have not come across a bad one yet i i know they've done about a several hundred so i haven't even scratched the service surface i've read about 15 plus of them but not much more than 15 so uh it's a small sampling and also I have here, um, I picked this up, uh, I think about a year ago or so at my local bookshop. Uh, it's The Exorcist, Bob McCabe, Out of the Shadows, the full story of the film. Wonderful cover there of Max von Sydow, or Cito, um, looking up uh, in the shadows. Um, and it's not very big, it's Omnibus Press. Um... Published 1999, and uh, yeah, it's not it's not very big. It's um, 185 pages. So, so yeah, so that's sort of currently my reading, and that's probably gonna fill me up for most of next week. I probably uh, I will start reading something else. Uh, like what I what I'm trying to do is getting a jump on the book to film videos. 
uh, and, and the reading. So if something comes up like it did um, um, over the weekend that I just wasn't feeling well enough to, to read or do anything or barely anything, uh, then then I, I'm, I'm ahead of the game uh, to a certain extent. So that's the plan. But then I'll be working on uh, my New World's November uh, and I'll be doing films uh, for all the prompts as well. So, and the first one will be The Thing. Um, and uh, it, it's, I'll be doing the 1951. Oh, I, I might... It depends on how much time I got. I might verge into the uh, 1982 John Carpenter version with Ken Russell, but uh, we'll see how much time we have. But it's based on uh, John W. Campbell's uh, under the pseudonym of Don A. Stewart, uh, which was funny because his wife's name, um, maiden name at the time, was Donna Stewart. So he used Don A. Stewart. And there's two versions of it. There's uh, a recently published one that has about 20 some pages, I think more um, to the to the novella. So and again, I'll be I'll be uh, discussing all that. So, yeah, so that, that that's my plans for the week and uh, still uh, doing a few more videos. Uh, I've still got uh, quite a few uh, science fiction books to to show. I'll finish that up. Uh, the over um, be before November starts, I think, uh, because I want to I want to devote mo all my science fiction videos to the New World's November. So um, do and um, there is uh, an announcement. I will see if I can put the link in the description for the announcement videos for those who are interested. Anyway, I will see you next time, Book Two.